Vipi wase ndegs hapa box to box FPL show Hii ni game week 23 preview Najwa deadline ni leo so teke teke nataka episode toke mbio mbio Tufanyi hiki tu teke teke Tushinde pale FPL Chope ma best rate wa mani aje kama kawaida Show is brought to you by Uber Eats uh, Don't forget to join our box to box community on WhatsApp Link is in the description And also Big shout out to all the winners, uh, people who won in November and December. We put out the videos on our socials so you can check them out. January winners being announced next week. So without further ado, this is how our team did in game week 22. Game week 22 to 74 points. Average ilikuwa 48, so tulifanya poa. Highest kuna msali 128. Eh, alikula hii wiki. Pale Nyuma, Dubravka, three points. Uh, alifunga, aliconsider last minute goal, not last minute, but a late goal against Aston Villa. Very close to getting a clean sheet. Away, uh, Saliba two points. Poro one. Estupinian zero. Defense nothing. Nothing. Pale defense. Apo mid dio vitu zilikuwa zinafanyika. So Eze alifunga baumbili. Akapata 14 points. Saka alitoka na baumoja. Akapata akapata aka, aka full bonus. Katua 10 points. De Bruyne alipata bonus. Napia akapata assist. Eh, Katua 14. Palma two points. Julian Alvarez akafunga baumbili. So he gave us. 13 points against Burnley and then Solanke scored against West Ham after Lipawa Bao na Calvin Phillips. <laughs> what an assist. <laughs> and then Oli Watkins, as we said, alifunga yobao ya Musho against Newcastle to make it 3-1. Obviously, Udogi got 10 points. Zimeka tupale kwa bench. These are the times you just wish Yanni is yes, to pinyana pair to sub to joko na zero, but is to pinyana actually got zero juu. Hey, walika nyagwa na luto. Hey, hey. Uh, tukangala pale ligi zetu box to box FPL show tumepanda hadi to 99 pole pole tu a few weeks ago tulikuwa sijui 2000 eh hey, pole pole tu 7700 in Kenya again not getting minuses for us that was a, that is all, that has been our goal to get minus 4 once when we were bringing in Salah um but then our threshold was minus 8 for the entire season which means out of 38 game weeks we want a maximum of 40 transfers um to the minus minus actually it won't be 40 it will be a bit less ju bikimbilu tutacha power wild card but yeah technically that's how we want our team to go and that is the recap your game week 22 to kinga pale suspension tightrope these are the players when you wako at risk of suspension players when you on nine bookings bruno g na joao palinha um not really people when you got now sana kwa FPL. Alafu asa kona eight bookings. Anthony Gordon, who a lot of people have. Nicholas Jackson, the most booked forward. And Christian Nogard, those three are on eight bookings. Players on seven bookings. Ahmed Zohic, Edson Alvarez, Brantwaite, Craig Dawson, Bruno Fernandes, Ubakar, Kamara, Mario Lemina, Emerson Palmieri, Jack Robinson, and Rodri. Again, um, when you get 10 bookings, you get a suspension of two games two games so that is why these people are at high risk and then obviously the players that are suspended for this week said ben rama uh was sent off for a straight red so yeah going to game week 24 which is the next game week and then rian brewster was um, given a straight red pia we expect him to come back in game week 24 after a straight red as well sheffield united player <laughs> Aya, tunge pale double game week. This is just a tip for you guys to be aware. Tuko game week 23, game week 25 kuna double game week. Game week 26 kuna blank game week. So you need to be aware players you have from these teams. Double game week ni Man City na Brentford. So, <laughs> Man City is the team you cannot not have them. So, unafuwa kujipanga na kukwambia sayi ndu ujipange mapema. We start bringing in those players. KDB and Haaland have already gone up. So, <laughs> I'm sure you'll still target them. But yeah. You need to start thinking about them now. Game week 25, they play two games. They actually play They actually play Brentford at home and Chelsea at home. Two home games for a, such a potent team. Someone, you must think about them. Uh, Brentford, Zawaz, Kai, they don't look too nice. Um, they actually play... Uh, I can't remember who Brentford play. But, um, oh sorry, yeah. They play Tottenham uh, away. No, they play that already. They play Man City at home. They play Wolves away, Man City away, and then Liverpool at home. So they play Man City twice over the next three weeks and Liverpool. So pretty tight. So Brentford players, eh, don't really think about them. 
Alafu players, uh, and then the blank game week. Blank game week is game week 26. Four teams have blank game week. Liverpool, Tottenham, Chelsea, Luton. This is because Liverpool and Chelsea are in Carabao Cup final. So, uh, those four teams we will will not be playing in game week 26. So, Kua Chonjo Mapema, if you're making subs, just know you're getting a Liverpool player in, just know you're getting them. Game week 26, Awata Kua. So these are the best players for game week 23 in case you're trying to get a one-off for this week. These are the players that I think the game week 23 was on a Faku target. Number one, Oli Watkins. Playing Sheffield United at home, away. Um, again, playing the worst team in the EPL. And he's... Uh, last week he scored one and one was disallowed against Newcastle. So Lanke playing Nottingham Forest. Uh, good home fixture. Conform. Napier con penalties. Someone to consider. Uh, Cole Palmer, rules at home, plum fixture, plum, 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 Msako on penalties, a threat and goals and assists. Um, and then Richarlison, Everton away, he's going back to play against his old team. He's uh, one of the most informed forwards in FPL. Uh, plenty of minutes now that Son is out and Son actually have, has qualified for the semi-finals, which means he's probably going to be out for even longer. They beat Australia after extra time in the Asian Cup, so someone to consider. And then, and then, and then, Anthony Gordon playing Luton at home. Great fixture. <coughs> Sorry. Isaac and Wilson are probably out for this game. Isaac limped out the other one, the previous game that they played against uh, Aston Villa. And Wilson didn't even make the bench. So someone worth considering. He might be playing as a forward and getting plenty of minutes this week. Aya, our captain picks for game week 23. Today we're going to go with six captain picks because I just feel like instead of five, there's six people worth considering because we have brought back number one, Arling Holland. This man is back. Man is back. He's playing Brentford away. Uh, Brentford have considered 24 goals since their last clean sheet and we just know he's a threat. Like, you cannot not consider him as a captain. So, number one, Arling Holland. Secondly, Oli Watkins playing Sheffield United away. Um, the man has the most points in FPL this season. Uh, he scored against Newcastle. Again, as I said earlier, Bawingine Pele quite disallowed. So, at least he's getting into those areas. Sheffield United have considered the most goals in the Premier League, the most shots in the Premier League, and the most considered XG in the Premier League. But, caveat, most of these stats came before Chris Wilder came. So, just have be aware of that. But they still haven't been that great. But if there's anything we know about Chris Wilder is that this man will show up a defense crazily. Now that they've had that break, I and I'm sure he has drilled them, you know. But um, I still believe that uh, Aston Villa have a good chance to get points here. Anthony Gordon, man playing New Luton at home. Um, Newcastle are much better at home than they are away. Um, obviously, Wilson didn't even make the bench last game. Alafu Isak is um, limped out of the last game against Aston Villa. Again, he's going to be playing at striker. It doesn't mean he's going to get he's going to get returns because it has happened in the season that matches a striker. Like he has had to play a striker when these two are not there. But the idea of having him up front and possibly having him on, no, he won't be on penalties, but having him play full minutes, like 90 minutes, is a good prospect, especially against a team that's not as great as Luton away. Um, next up, Cole Palmer. The man is on penalties. Also, if you didn't see, Broha has gone to Fulham on loan. Uh, we know Nkunku is back, but he's also on a minute restriction, which means they've been playing him as a false nine a lot. Nicholas Jackson has also just come from AFCON. Um, he's been playing at false nine. He's, he's, he's just been given freedom to roam. Again, he's on penalties. Very, very key. The Chelsea team have been given the most penalties in the league this season. Um, Wolves concede a lot of chances from the right. They don't have many weaknesses, but if there's one weakness, that that is it. Um so yeah, someone worth considering for captaincy. Then Solanke, Nottingham Forest at home. He scored a hat trick in the reverse fixture away to, uh, at Nottingham Forest away. Um, now he's at home. The man is on form. Can't stop scoring. I mean, that's I think that's an easy decision, not an easy decision, but an easy pick for captain um, or an easy option to have uh, for captain. And then my main man for this week, captain for me personally, Diogo Jota. No one has scored more away goals at the Emirates than Jota. This guy just loves Arsenal. I don't know what it is. He's on form. He has, I think, four goals and two assists in his last four games. Um, and he's scoring them in limited time. He comes on 16 minutes, two assists. Like, 18 minutes, a goal and an assist. Like, he's like that. 
last week you would have also gotten an extra assist if Nunez decided to uh, not hit the post and score the penalty. So Jota is like for me, I think my main pick for captain this week. As a national fan, it has to say, but it's good to be honest and it's good to just be objective. This man loves scoring against us and we have not been the best at clip, keeping clean sheets. Salah is not there. He's the main man. He's the main threat. So Jota, captain pick for game week 23. Ah, yeah, clean sheet odds. This is how the clean sheet odds are looking. The team with the highest clean sheet odds this week is Man City playing away at Brentford. Followed closely at 44% by Newcastle playing Luton. So Man City at 45, Newcastle at 44. Then uh, Brighton and Chelsea follow up 40%. Brighton play Palace at home. Chelsea play Wolves at home. And then uh, Bournemouth, Nottingham Forest and Aston Villa, Sheffield. Aston Villa play Sheffield away. Bournemouth play Nottingham Forest at home. The teams with the highest odds to score two plus goals, Man City at the top, 42%. Actually tied with Newcastle. Newcastle playing Luton, Man City playing Brentford. And then um, 36%, you have Aston Villa. And then Man United, Chelsea, Bournemouth, all tied on 33%. Man United playing West Ham, Chelsea playing Wolves, Bournemouth playing Nottingham Forest. And Brighton playing Palace. Those are the teams with the highest odds to score two plus goals. And those ones with potential to keep clean sheet. So we can say up on you keep clean sheet. Those are the teams you need to be targeting. So with that being said, this is how our squad looks like for game week 23. Tumetoa, Anthony Gordon, and who else? None other than Diogo Jota coming in straight to the setting 11. Um, at the back, Kona Dubravka, Luton at home, uh, Saliba playing Liverpool at home, Pedro Poro, Everton away, Estupinian playing Crystal Palace at home. Pale meet Konasaka. Jota, of course, playing Arsenal. Palmer playing Wolves. Na De Bruyne versus Brentford away. Uh, Julian Alvarez, Pale Mbele. Solanke na Watkins. Wana chukilia. Pale Mbele. Uh, Eze to bench because he's a risk with a hamstring injury. Uh, Udogi is the first sub and Livramento second sub. So next week, Livramento is, I think, the sub that we are going to make. Move him at the back there. Captain for this week is none other than Diogo Jota. As we've said, this man just loves scoring at the Emirates. So... I think it's just a no-brainer. Like, the guy is just... He's just on fire. He loves the Emirates. So, yeah. And Arsenal have not been so great defensively for the past... Uh, not exactly airtight. Let me just say that. So, I expect Liverpool to score goals. I expect Arsenal to score goals. But um, I also expect Jota to get on the score sheet. Especially now that Salah is not there. And um, Nunez is not exactly scoring the goals. He's assisting, but he's not finishing... Um, he scored, he's hit the post the most times this season, 10 times, like that's, that's insane. Um, so yeah, Diogo Jota, captain for game week 20. And with that, that is our show, Box to Box FPL Show Game Week 23. That's the preview show is brought to you by Uber Eats. Guys, join the Box to Box community on WhatsApp. Link is in the description. And then, and then, and then, remember to join our league if you want to be part of the crew. Um, all you have to do is join, play, and be in the running to win like the guys who just won. We are people who want vouchers of up to 10,000 shillings. So if you're going to be one of those, just join the league, play, and yeah, win. Peace.